that we recognize as Native people coming back here to Washington, D.C. is uh, the years of uh, activism of our uh, Native people from the Americas and Canada. You know, it takes me back uh, when a lot of our, our elders have passed away and some of our people who are elders now to Washington, D.C. back in the early 70s take over the European affairs. Congress walk so we feel this whole area of the teepees. So this is a, you know, a memory of that, those people who gave their lives and struggled for their rights. This, this uh, coming here as part of this uh, large two-week uh, civil resistance is very critical to our Native movement, not only our brothers and sisters here of the United States, but our brothers and sisters from Canada who come from the tar sands uh, uh, impact zone where they're literally dying from cancer and other uh, uh, environmental health uh, illnesses related to persons and petroleum. Uh, you know, so we're here to voice out that uh, this uh, synthetic crude oil that uh, flows through this vein of the Keystone Exile pipeline, if we get to prove as well as other pipelines that have been developed, like the Keystone that's currently operating in the Alberta Clipper Line by Inverge Corporation. That these are arteries like snakes and like spiders going over our sacred mother earth and that we have to put a stop to this insanity. This is not only dirty oil that flows through there, but it's blood oil. Blood oil at the expense of the rights of this country's first peoples, our first citizens, the indigenous people, the aboriginal people of Canada.